Today is April the 6th, 2016. This is a quick video. I got my Ashford Country Spinner too. Excuse the messy room. Um, I'm very happy. Number one, I'm very happy that the um, postal person left it in front of my apartment that I didn't have to plug it up several flights of steps because it's kind of heavy and I will proceed on opening it, conditioning the wood, staining the wood, and protecting the wood. So that's going to be about two days worth of work. But let's see, I'm excited. Yay! But Good morning. Today is Sunday, April the 10th, I believe. I just wanted to quickly video that I put together my Ashford Country Spinner 2. Yay! Um, I actually put it together around two days ago. And I have been trying to teach myself how to spin. I am starting at ground zero, so it is quite interesting. I couldn't even get the wheel to um, continue spinning, so... Um, it's been fun. It's been a little bit challenging. I have spun some things, not straight from um, raw wool, but um, just practicing on some things. And I'll include some pictures of the things. Um, that I have spun. I wish I could show you a little bit more, but this room is just so full of yarn and bits and pieces and everything everywhere. It just looks a total mess. But this is my... Ashford Spinner! Yay! Okay, that's it. Good morning. Today is Monday, April the 11th, 2016. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my great big flyer and bobbin from my Ashford Country Spinner 2. Yesterday I spent the day uh, spinning this papon, as I like to call it. That's my new name for paper yarn. Um. I didn't spend like the whole day. I think I spent maybe, I don't know, maybe three hours. Uh, this was approximately, times three, three, eighteen, eighteen. Approximately, this was approximately a little under 600 yards of um, paper yarn. This was the lovely, I'm going to call it my Monet's blush paper that I took pictures of yesterday, which hopefully I will have included in this video. And this is what it turned out to to be spun up. I love it. It looks very delicate, very spring-like, very rose-like, very, very beautiful. So right now I'm going to take this off and put it on my Nitty Nighty and actually see how many actual yards I do have because I had to overlap the paper so that's going to shorten the yardage somewhat and um, so that's that and then I have some other papers to spin but I have to kind of connect them but I was working on dyeing some other paper that I had I had this big roll of orange that I couldn't sew because it kept ripping up on me so I said let me see if I can try and dye it. Well this was a fail because um, 
I tried to dye this the same way that I dyed the Monet's blush, which was a off-white paper from the beginning, and the dyes, you can't, you can't even see them. I mean, I had some deep purples, reds, pinks, um, olive greens in here, and it just looks orange. I mean, if I go close up, you might be able to see some variation, but this was an epic fail. It was a waste of dye. It was a waste of being in um, a room full of alcohol as it's dried. I mean, it wasn't in the room, though, but um, it's not exactly healthy. So, live and learn. You're going to dye something. Uh, maybe a different type of dye. Maybe um, an acrylic. A very thinned out acrylic paint would work. Um, and actually probably um, make the paper a little um, stronger. But the alcohol dyes don't work. The alcohol dyes work well on something that's white. Something that's white or off-white. So, um, I'm going to put my paparn on my Nitty Nitty. And I'm going to see how, man how many yards I was able to spin. Okay, this is the paparn that I have um, loaded my Nitty Nitty up with. And I want to make a correction. Um, it wasn't close to 600 yards. This was one piece of crepe paper at 161 feet. And I cut it into three. So that turned out to be 483 feet. But as I spun it into yarn and loaded my Nitty Nitty up, this Nitty Nitty um, is 72 inches. So every time you count one of these strands, it's two yards. So this yielded 75 times 2. No, it was 85, sorry, 85 times 2, which actually gave me 170 yards. So this is just, even though I originally cut the the, the mm, this, I cut it into three strips. So even though I cut it into three strips, with all the turning and the spinning and the rotations, it actually takes up the length. It actually eats up your original length. So even though you cut it in three, don't think that you're going to get three times the amount. Um, that's a good thing to know. And I'm glad I'm ca I counted that out and figured that out. So basically, what you buy, if you're buying 100 feet and you... Um, divide it into three, you're not going to get 300 feet worth of spun yarn. You're basically going to get what you originally bought, I guess, depending on your spinning. But, yes, I got 85 yards out of this. Um, there were some breaks along the way. Um, I count at least, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 breaks. Um, but I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good for this, my first piece of spun paparn or paper yarn. Um, so now I'm going to take this off. Uh, the next step in regular yarn spinning is that they would wash it to set the twists. I can't wash this because it's paper yarn. So I'm going to try and just steam it to set the twists. And then um, twirl it into a hank. And I'll show you that picture. Please forgive me, I know I'm filming this sideways, I'm just trying to get this totally in the shot without um, filming anything else. Um, very quickly, in the previous video I said that I was going to set this yarn. Usually when you take your yarn off, it's full of energy, it's full of twist, it's full of spin, and it twists around itself like a, like a pretzel. It'd be all twisted like this. But, when I took this off, it was hanging straight and that's really what you want your yarn to be doing anyway is to hang straight now you'll see some bumps there because that's where it was twisted around the nitty nitty but um I don't think I really have to do anything to this yarn I don't think I have to set it I almost don't even want to twist it up and put it in a hank because it will get the um the shape of the hank but um I don't know I'll have to see like what I do with this but 
I'm not going to set this and this is officially this is my first piece of yarn paparn that I have spun and I'm very happy with it I'm very happy with the delicate colors um it could have been worse but um live and learn next piece will be better I'm I'm learning with yes as I was saying before my uh, memory card filled up I was very happy with this first attempt and um just looking forward to more experimenting have a great one